Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here for Gilbert's Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan and MrHardware.com, here to do a quick talk about furnace flame sensors. Furnace flame sensor comes in different shapes. It's in our latest furnaces, probably 20 years old and newer. They put these little gadgets that have only one wire connection to them and one screw holding them in place. They put these right in the flame in the furnace. So when the furnace first ignites, the flame sensor senses the flames. If it doesn't sense any flames, it shuts the furnace down. In a few minutes, it will restart get the furnace running again, and then boom, up come the flames. The flame sensor says, no flame. Furnace shuts back down. If the flame sensor is bad, your furnace will be doing a little loop, and it'll do it three or four times, and some will shut themselves down. What you have to do, you turn the furnace power switch off, the furnace resets itself, you try again, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Because the flame sensor gets corroded. Now, the one that's in the furnace here, we're going to show you, I already sanded and cleaned up, and I'm, I'm using an old one, but here's the new one. This is the one off my producer's furnace. His was going bad. He sanded it and cleaned it, but it was getting carboned up. So what we've done is, I've just taken a, you know, medium sandpaper or a sanding sponge, and I've sanded it. Not too much, just get the black off. Just so the metal shines, again, without any black on it. So you're not sanding it to death, you're just trying to get the carbon off. Once you have the carbon off, then it's working again. What you have to do, you turn the furnace power switch off. These are all where the flames come out. And over here, at the far end, you see the single red wire on a single spade. That's just a quarter inch spade. And then sure enough, there it is. So when we go to change these, it's almost always a quarter inch set screw in here. Pop out this little sheet metal screw. And at the drop in the guts of the furnace, and then this flame sensor in this furnace is angled. It's that easy. Since it's all cleaned up, you can say I sanded it and put it in. This will last a month or two, um, sometimes more. So here's my new one. I picked it up. These these run anywhere from uh, fifteen to thirty dollars, so they're not cheap. I sneak it back in there. And it goes in and you can find them a lot of times because you're following the combustion tubes of the furnace and they'll put it a lot of times at the very last tube. See? And it's a single wire. So there it is. Alright. Okay, so we fired up the furnace. It's checking a couple things. This is an induction motor which is sending forced air into the combustion area. It's taking it from outside and it's coming in and it's going into the combustion so it's going to take the gas under pressure and go. So first the furnace is going to check for vacuum. There it goes. Then you've seen the Igniter kick on, and if that flame sensor was off, right now the furnace would have shut back down. So there it is. You can do your own lightweight furnace repair if you know about the flame sensor. 